day over.
What I wouldn't give for some fresh fish. I don't think I can masticate one more milk byproduct. My kingdom for one small fish morsel. <laughs> oh, you hooked a big one! Oh, my specialty! <laughs> Sushi El Grande! <laughs> <laughs> Smorgasbord! Great Barrier Reef, what is that? Looks like carved telephone pole. Looks like we're gonna be having cheese for dinner again. Don't worry, Captain. We throw back. No! It's our duty as seamen to be stewards of the sea. Put it in the hold. We will dispose of it correctly at the next port. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> My head hurts. What is this thing? I don't know. I can't tell from here. Hold on, hold on! Let me grab something! No need to hurry! It's only my eye! <laughs> Help, Rapido! I don't want to die! Let go! I can't hold! I'm slipping! I've got to... I still don't 
don't know what it is. Uh -huh. Rapino, look here. I found it. The totem is Rackamack, Tiki God of the Ocean. Legend has it that headaches will forever plague whomever removes it from its ocean resting place. Unless it's returned. <laughs> My book! Curious, the carving. <laughs> ah! Huh? That's incredible. It's the totem. My book! I got it! Hey, lunch! I feel a little dizzy, kind of lightheaded. Either we've hit rough water, or my head's spinning. You desire, O oh, Rackamack. I will obey. Yes, back in the ocean. Yes, of course. Rapido, the Tiki Totem wants to go back home into the ocean, or else much bad juju and big headaches. You're talking to telephone poles now. Who? Okay. <laughs> Huh? Rapido! What's the holdup? This is not easy, little man. Fishing is harder than cooking. Oh, yeah? Well, it takes a real artist to make a triple cheese souffle. I'd like to see you try now it. Oh, for some culture. It seems our little wooden friend is a one of a kind, priceless artifact. Maybe we need to get it to a museum to find out how much our wooden prize is really worth. Cha ching. To the museum! On the double! We're, We're going, going to, to be rich! rich. Feeling better? Uh, Bananas uh, are the uh, perfect uh, cure for a headache. It's Rico's Arise method. We must put Tiki Totem back home into the sea. I didn't hear a word you said. I have a banana in my ear. <laughs> money, 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 we have found a treasure. Money, 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 riches are a pleasure. <laughs> I must help the statue get back to the sea. Rapido, you have to help. You gotta help me. Come on. So, what are we doing? We are going to send the totem to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, and how are we supposed to do that? Watch closely. <laughs> okay, so what exactly are you doing? I'm sinking the ship. And what's going to happen to the cheese? Uh-oh, good point. We can't sink the ship! Really? You don't say. Millions, millions, millions by the foot or by the inch! Millions, 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 we're going to be rich! Hello? The Ancient World Museum? We have the one and only Rackamack in our possession. So get those millions ready! My teeth are full of banana strings. Hmm. <gasps> That's it! What? It's simple. We divert the steam pipe on the boiler and use it as a high-pressure cannon to knock the tiki overboard! <laughs> Phase one. Disconnect the pipe. Phase two, use a wad of pre-chewed gum to divert steam flow. Quick, to be yours. Perfect. Phase three, aim a 30-foot PVC pipe directly at the totem. Phase four, release the pressure. Uh, 
What a waste of good gum. another way I know millions 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 I'm going to buy some shoes millions 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 no more pull out blues I don't mean to disturb your lunch but could you help me I can't work on a full stomach <laughs> That is the ugliest cheese totem I have ever seen. I want to see the statue. You won't be disappointed. Right this way. Quickly, quickly! Help me close the door! Just give it some more gas! Uh, hey, what's this? What would you do without me? May I present Rackamac? Hmm. Millions, millions, millions! A cheese statue that's worth about 70 cents a pound at the market. Mm -hmm. Here's a bill for my services, which includes a fee for wasting my time. And also the cost of my expert appraisal. A bill for $1,200? Dump that cursed thing overboard! My pleasure. <clears throat> Captain says you go, you go! I just love sculpture. I really need to go. <laughs> Rinse and dumb, stand up and walk. He wants to say something, but what? Come on, don't be a dog. Just move. Uh, maybe he has information about my lamppost. <laughs> if we were in China, you wouldn't play dumb. Down there, dogs are barely above a sausage on the food chain. Come on. Come on and move, doggy dog, huh? Oh, I know. He wants me to jump in his arms. Does it count without the dog? That's good. That's scientific. Tomorrow we will give the names of the ones who will be authorized to take out Rin Tim Dum. We'll never pass the test. We're going to have to rig the list.
Well now, is everyone ready for our hike today? Yes! Hmm? Rats! I think I forgot my phone. Matt, you won't need it in the forest. And what if I run into the Flublu? How am I going to take his photo? Hmm? We'll be back soon. Make sure you hurry. Flour, eggs, and milk. She is going to love my surprise. My lovely friend, I met you a mere 809 days ago, and this calls for a celebration. Got it. Let's go back. Huh? Hey, that's got to be Brian and Mary Lou. I'm sure that they're going together. Mary Lou and Brian? Absolute nonsense. <laughs> So we eavesdrop. Confiscated. Sorry, uh, but we've got to go. You think you can get out of it that easily, huh? You're on dish duty, both of you. And the faster you start, the faster you'll finish. You like to cook, huh? Uh, uh, I say, what business is that of yours? Come on, hop to it, get to work. <sighs> I bet he's cooking up a little dish for Beryl. Oh, what little lovebirds! They're so cute! Oh, oh. Delicious! Do you have any idea where Matt and Lisa went? Everyone's waiting for them. Uh, oh, yes. They prefer to stick around and do the dishes. Don't bother waiting for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, blasted artificial limb. <laughs> Actually, it's my, my artificial hip. A souvenir from the water of Xiongping. <laughs> I'll explain to you some other day. Uh, have a nice hike. I've got to catch up on bookkeeping. Oh, poor guy. What a workaholic. <laughs> okay, kids, let's go. <laughs> this is so unfair. I was just doing my job as a reporter. Hurry up. It's pointless complaining. What about the freedom of the press? What about that, huh? <sighs> what an abuse of power. Hmm? Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Ah, there it is. A croc eats a plate of sauerkraut for 30 people in six seconds flat. That's exactly what I need. So, it can't be that difficult. First, we need flour. So normally, it's supposed to be located here. Um, here, little guy, here you go. <laughs> I gotcha. Phew, finished. What the heck is he doing? I just finished my... Uh, the secret notebook! What are you doing with it? <laughs> you... You brought a croc into the campsite? 
Well, I... I just gave him dirty dishes to finish. Do you know how risky that is? He could eat all of our supplies. Whoa, whoa, relax. All we need to do is take him back to the forest. Here, little guy, here. Well, well, have we finished doing the dishes? <gasps> because I need to... Hey, just hold on a second. I hope you didn't just do a half-baked job. Hmm? <laughs> well, the coast is clear now. <laughs> Squeak, have you seen a croc around here? There he is! Quick! Hurry up, come on, come on! Ah, it's you! Uh, me? No. Well, uh, yes, Badge. Uh, Have you finished your bookkeeping? Uh, not really. I, uh, um, I'm doing kitchen inventory. Uh, where was I? 132. Oh, how serious. I'll let you work then. <laughs> Doesn't it smell like something's burning? Oh. <laughs> Mmm, a blue watermelon. They're the best. Let's split it. You hold on to it, and I'll slice it in two with my skateboard. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Where is it? you guys could tell us what's going on. There's a croc in the camp. He swallows everything he finds. Ah! A monster! And it's eating all of our little spider baby babies! Oh, no, no, it's a real bummer. <sighs> that croc will swallow practically anything he can find. If it's any consolation, he didn't bother eating the Brussels sprouts Wappy Teresa sent us. Ugh. Wait a sec. He thought they were disgusting as well. That means we can trap him by hiding the Brussels sprouts in something what a great idea. Except that we're all out of good things to eat. There's still one super protected thing left. I have to climb in through the balcony. It's so high up. Need I remind you it was your idea? Yeah, but I didn't think I was going to have to go. Ah! Just the two of us, my lovely. <laughs> Daryl, I have something for you. Oh, 
troublemaker. Will you take him back to the forest, Squeak? Ignatius! What is it you wanted to show me that's so mysterious? Just wait and see. It's a surprise! A magnificent view, then! Ta da! <laughs> Yes, uh, it hasn't really changed since yesterday, but, but you're right, it is quite beautiful. Oh, are you expecting someone? Absolutely not. I've been eating for two recently. <laughs> you have to wonder where it all goes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I had noticed that you put on weight. <laughs> Still, be reasonable, will you? Hmm? Huh? About some some Brussels sprouts. An old can of Chef Grolic ravioli? Where did you find that? And it still has the loyalty sticker on the label. Shh. I'll trade you two new cans for that. It's a deal, but you pay for everything in the cart, too. Okay. And I want your jacket. Okay. And your glasses. Okay. A Swedish foot massage. Stop! This ravioli is not for sale. Uh... You could have asked that guy for the moon. I mean, What's so special about that can of ravioli? Uh, my ravioli has disappeared! There he goes! <laughs> Don't worry, little baby. Daddy is going to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Chef Grolic, I realized that pigs didn't only have to live on a farm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. Tell me about the piggy bank. I really wanted it. Except I needed 100 loyalty points to get it. And I only had a measly 99. You scoundrel! Dream destroyer! It's payback time! I swear on Chef Crowley's grave, I will get that can of ravioli! Stealing from a thief? That's a totally insane concept! You're completely crazy, Hubert! I love you! Well, I was actually thinking of purchasing it from him. <laughs> You're right! Let's go! And besides, it's not really theft anyway. All I'm doing is taking back what's rightfully mine, you know? Yeah, Jean-Pierre? Get over here right now. We need you. Password? Nah, I don't remember. What's pink and jumps from tree to tree? Bubble gum in Tarzan's pocket? So show us the merchandise. Huh? False bottom. State-of-the-art high-tech stuff. It's the Invisible Prince Collection, featuring tadpole leather gloves. Because even a spy should have nice hands. The Trashy Crowbar. Elegant, easy to handle, and oh so easy to hide. Buy two and you get a free <laughs> earring. Gift 
strap for the holidays. You're so sweet. How did you know it was my birthday? Oh, thanks a ton, guys. I've got a bad feeling. We should go. You're not allowed to give up. Think of your piggy bank. Wait for me. To Careful! Hair leaves traces of DNA! Shh! Are you out of your mind? Turn that thing off now before he hears us! What? I told you to turn off that stinking vacuum cleaner! Shh! Quit your screaming or he's gonna hear us! Looks as if our thief is a toy collector. Chow Chow Doggy Food, a doggy's best friend. Woo, woo. Psst, Hubert, check this out. Come on, come to Daddy, that's it. Yes, we're almost there, it's coming. It's almost open, almost. I can feel it, we're getting hot, yes. Come on. You're gonna wake up the babies. It took forever to get them to go to sleep. They're not yours, you stinking thief! No. Grab the can and run, Hubert! I've got them! Stop! Let the fly go! Or I open this ravioli! No, don't do that! It won't be worth a penny! All I want is the loyalty stamp on the label! Then we're out of here! Oh, so you want the piggy bank? Help yourself, they're completely worthless. By the way, is the ravioli any good? Uh, no. It's disgusting. Why? No reason. Just asking. Gorgeous, be a good egg and get the door. No! You get the door! We got it last time. It's your turn. I'm not leaving this couch. Bun, get the door. No way! The best part of the movie is coming up. But you've seen this movie a hundred times. That's not true. I've only seen it 99 times. Get the door! Please, don't everyone get up at once. I'll get the door. La, 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 la. Just a minute, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes, can I help you? Good day, ma'am. Lovely weather we're having. In fact, it's so hot, I could use a cold drink. Need a bottle opener? Or hop on a wrench. Maybe a screwdriver. I know you need a vacuum cleaner. Well, as a matter of fact, I... This is the household aid of the future! The housewife's friend! It's a jiffy, handy pocket pal with a hundred uses. Wow! Oh, it's terrific! But it must cost a fortune. Not so, my strange Ooh. little friend. This modern miracle only costs the paltry sum of... Five dollars! And if you're not completely satisfied, you get all your money back! Take it. Thank you very much, ma'am. Boy, wait till I show this to all of my uh, family. What an easy sale that was. This house is a gold mine. Just follow her. What the? 
Dervish? What do we have here? <laughs> a termite. A voracious eater of wood. But our house is made of wood! Oh no! You've gotta go! <laughs> no bug's gonna eat me out of house and home! <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle this pest. <sighs> All right, you bunch of sissies. I'll take on the lot of you. Stand back. He's not bluffing. The termite has built itself a home downstairs. That thing will eat through our house in no time. We've got to get rid of it. And, and no, no, do, do something. something! Calm down, calm down. Let me think. Hey! That's the guy who sold me the housewife's friend. I'm going to go get my money back for that useless gadget. We'll all go, Candy. These humans can be tricky to deal with sometimes. <laughs> yes? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, sorry to disturb you and your family again, but I forgot to give you your free pot holder that comes with your purchase of the housewife's friend. <gasps> Termites, eh? Tisk tisk tisk. This looks serious. Hmm. Let me see. The only thing that'll get rid of that termite is the giant Peruvian anteater. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a sale on anteaters this week. Well, I don't think... That's just oh. it! You don't have to think! I've done all that for you! Yes, an anteater is what you need. But an anteater, too? Of course, I've got the only one left. They are selling fast, and I did promise it to the guy down the street. Well, I can see you're not interested. I'll just... We'll take it! A very smart buy, if I do say so myself. Huh? Huh? <coughs> yeah, what do you want? Aren't you going to do anything about that insect? Hey, were you raised in a barn? Look, lady, that's a termite. I'm an anteater. I don't eat termites. Where do you keep the mustard in this dump? Here you go. <coughs> All right, you bug-eating bum. It's time to hit the... <laughs> that's the stuff. Let him have it. <laughs> Heck no, do something. Don't you worry, Candy. I'll handle this. I'm terribly sorry to disturb you, sir, but can I use your phone? Now you listen, you. That anteater you sold us is defective. I demand that you get rid of that thing immediately. Sure. There's only one natural enemy of both the African red termite and the giant Peruvian anteater, and that's the common variety garden elf. <laughs> Look, maybe you think you can fool my uh, uh, wife with your talk, but I've got you figured out. Sir, I would certainly be the fool if I were to try to trick such an obviously highly intelligent man as yourself. I can see that you, sir, are a hyper-intelligent being. 
A being possessing an ultra-sensitive brain, which can detect a flaw in even the most honest of salesmen. Are you a member of Mensa? Uh, well... <laughs> yes! I could tell by the giant cranial lobe! I could spot a fellow member anywhere. Now, about this elf. Let's get this common little problem of yours solved, so... We can get back to discussing your brilliant brain! Yes, well, uh, how much did you say he was? All right, you three, the party's over. Get out now! Hey, hey shut, shut that, that door! Three, two, one. That's it! I've had it with you and your stupid gimmicky things. You're going to do something about these parasites, and you're going to do it now! little fella. I'd be happy to help. What you need is someone to negotiate with these parasites, and I just happen to be a registered and licensed arbitration lawyer. My card. Good news! They'll all leave if they're each paid $20. Fine, fine, just get them out. Get them out! Listen, you, you huckster. We've paid and paid and paid. And for what? I demand satisfaction! You are absolutely right. According to the guarantee, you're entitled to a full refund. I'll take that. And for you, sir, a bill for my attorney fees. and pretend that Ferocia is mom. If she finds out that we lied, we're in big trouble. But what about these? <laughs> Dr. Burp! Burp! <laughs> Just yesterday evening, I was saying to my adorable little wife that what this home needed was a psychologist. <laughs> yes, someone to see what reigns in this home. Love, peace, and tenderness. <laughs> so you see, we're really a normal family with a mom and dad who love each other and a very happy little boy. <laughs> Kids today. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Dr. Burke, let me introduce you to our housemaid. Her name is Sally. Sally! So, as you can see, when facing an opponent who has placed himself in position C5A, the only logical response is to assume defensive position HQ67 squared. This, of course, assumes that said opponent has not anticipated your defense and has already planned counterattack G5 down. In which case, you must change tactics entirely and take offensive stance BR9ZTL. Test, test. Was that a test? I think someone has been daydreaming. Can anyone tell Aizan what he missed? <laughs> Not even you, Okuni? Well, I uh, definitely heard the word test, too, and um, some other stuff before it. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully someone managed to take some notes, because portions of today's lesson will be included on the test next week. <laughs> Study hard for it will count for 50% of your midterm score. We'll never pass.
passed that test. His class is so boring, it's impossible to stay awake, let alone concentrate. Tell me about it, dog. I mean, usually he's kind of dry, but lately he makes the Sahara look like the rainforest. We have to do something or we'll fail the class. But what can we do? It's not like we can use our ninjutsu to suddenly make him, um, uh... Alive? <laughs> I was going to be a bit more delicate, but yes. It's just not natural that someone is that boring. There must be something missing in his life. Maybe he's lonely. Oh, uh, maybe he's hungry. Maybe he needs a good haircut. That style doesn't feng shui with his jawline at all. <laughs> no, the problem is we don't know what he needs. We might not be able to use our ninjutsu to change him, but we can use it to investigate and find out how we can help him. That's a great idea, Okuni. For the sake of our grades, we must solve the mystery of why Sensei Kubo is so boring. Not to mention for the sake of Kubo-san. And our yeah. young little attention span. So boring, he even puts himself to sleep. I wonder what he's saying. Hey, you kids. Ah! Just why are you following Kubo san? Don't you know it is impolite to shadow your teachers? We're trying to help him. Yes, we're trying to find out why he's so boring. So he can have a better life. And we can have a better teacher. And not have to take so many tests. Ah, it's a noble quest indeed. Can you remember anything that can help us? Ah, uh, I remember Kubo-san's first day. Whoa! I'm going to have to clean that spot all over again. <laughs> oh, the good old days. Other than that, I can't help you. Kubo-san's always been boring, but good luck. You'll be needing me. Okay, that was helpful. Or not. So now what? You heard him mumbling in his sleep. Maybe it's important. He's on duty at the dorms this week. We'll just have to sneak into his room to hear what he's saying. Who's there? Oh, it's just the wind. Maybe if I amplify the low end. Trophy? That must be a name. But Trophy. whose? Maybe she's a long lost love. Or he's Pet Chihuahua. Well, whoever Trophy is, we're going to find them for Kubo san, so we won't miss them anymore. Tomorrow, we'll go see the principal. Maybe he knows. Trophy. Sorry, had to do it. Aizen, oh, Kuni, so nice of you to stop by. What is it I can do for you today? Well, sir, we're here on behalf of Sensei Kubo. You see, we're trying to, um... Plan a surprise. And we were wondering if you might know who Trophy is. We think it's someone from his past that he would want to reconnect with. Trophy? No idea. Besides, all of that kind of information is in his personal file, and that is, of course, strictly confidential. 
Is there anything you might be able to tell us about Kubo-san, sir? Anything at all? Ah, yes. I can remember Sensei Kubo's first day, just like it was yesterday. I went by his class to see how his lessons were going. Mumble, 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 mumble. I haven't had a sleep like that in months. Now, whenever I need a little nap, I, I pop right over to Kubo-san's class, and I'm fresh as a daisy. Oh, he's been a fine addition to our teaching staff. A fine addition indeed. I can't believe it. He actually likes that Sensei Kubo is boring. Well, he doesn't have to pass his own tests. We'll have to keep asking. Somebody here has to have a clue. Trophy? No, I I'm sorry. But I remember the first time I saw him, or he saw me. <laughs> Hello, you must be our new teacher. I'm Kita. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> oh, poor Kubo. It's sad. The only thing anybody remembers about Kubo-san is when he tripped or put them to sleep. We'll never find out who Tarofi is. Wait, there's Zumakito-san. Maybe he knows something. Kubo-san. Ah, yes. I remember his first day. Hello, little fish. Are you hungry? I never knew fish could sleep like that. But then... Who am I to predict nature in all of its untamed beauty? I am but a simple gardener, and I can do no more than my simple duty to help nature in its eternal struggle to spring from the earth. Yes, that night it was a full moon, as I recall. I had just planted the cherry tree saplings in the freshly mixed potting soil that I'd made from the leaves of last year's rakings. Oh, and fine leaves they were. Dry with but a hint of moisture. As I ah! them, I was like to think of birds crunching their tongues. We need to get into those files. Right. Ah! <gasps> huh, my mirror! That's bad luck. Well, maybe if you watched where your feet were going instead of your hair, you'd have better luck. Well, just because I have long golden hair to admire, doesn't mean you should be so rude. You forgot, Shiny. <gasps> Why, thank you. It's my new conditioner. Expensive, but so worth it. And I still think you should apologize. Why should I apologize when it was you who bumped into me? I think it was you who bumped into me. I don't think so. It was obviously you who well, bumped... Perhaps it's best if we just decided you both bumped into each other equally. But now... Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> I guess that makes us even. Then I suppose that would put me on top again. My lamp post. <laughs> the results are definitive. Those most suited to walk the dog are... Those most suited to walk the dog are... The Daltons? Huh? Ha, ah, you can check. It's scientific. <laughs> Yes! Rag a 
Muffin, my favorite TV star and best friend from childhood. Hi, I'm Mr. Ragamuffin. He hasn't missed a beat. Isn't that cute? A talking uh, dirt rag. I thought you threw that thing away years ago, along with your pacifier. Back off, pigeon face! I don't have time for your adolescent behavior. I'm busy with a top-secret scientific project. Scientific project? Yeah! Bio-robotic engineering. Beneath this terry cloth exterior lies a brain powered by advanced computer circuitry. Behold, in my hands lies the future of mankind. Make way for technology! <laughs> yes, little ragamuffin, you will live again with this super microchip, which I removed from Rapido's hair dryer, placed in just the right position. It should bring you a new and improved life force. Hey, Dr. Genius. So how's the future of mankind looking? I'm on the brink of the world's greatest scientific breakthrough. See that chair? That would be your eyewitness point of perspective, where you will conduct and mediate all global TV press conferences from... All right! Television! <laughs> now, you're a captive audience. <laughs> it's time for the second coming of Ragamuffin! And now, I summon the gods to bring forth life anew! Future. Mankind is doomed. <laughs> hey, Raz! <laughs> Rag and Muffin's number one fan is busy. Hey, buddy, want to go for a little rat board run? Not now! Fair weather, friend. Come on, Mr. Rags, make me laugh, make me laugh. Well, now that the naughty children are gone, I can continue. Yes, yes! But first, a word from our sponsor. Entry 12. The subject continues to be receptive to various kinds of humor. Hang on, what do we have here? Who are you talking to? Puppet boy? A puppet talking into a tape recorder? Something's not right here. Mr. Rags is back, kitties! Hey, Raz, your little sock monkey is up to something. You were talking into a secret tape recorder. What's up with that? Rapido, get out! Go play with your own toys. Ragamuffin is my friend. Phew, that was a close one. And leave us alone! All right, Mr. Rags, go, go, go! <laughs> Make me laugh! All right, then. One more happy monkey dance. <laughs> Yummy, 
yum yum. Frosted ragamuffin flakes, fortified with sugar. Keep on chilling in your crib, Rasmo. Hello? 30 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Front page article in the trade papers. Yes, yes, but don't leak it out. I don't want the guy I'm staying with. To... <coughs> oh. My name is Raga Raga Muffin. I live on a candy rainbow uh. under a cotton fluffin. Uh. And what's this? Who were you talking to? I'm Raga Raga Muffin, a kid's best friend! I want the truth! I think you got the wrong idea. Who's your boss? Okay, well, it's way past Mr. Rag's bedtime and... I think it's time Mr. Muffin and Mr. Rapido went out for a little get-to-know-ya ride. Help! Shush! You'll wake baby Rasmo. Uh, aren't we awfully high? Don't fall off and you'll be okay. Sh should it sh 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 shake like this? Come on, little rags. I think you should dance for me. Uh, how about the peanut dance? <laughs> Why are you corrupting Rasmo? I'm rapping rags, the rapping king. Rhyming hard is my thing. Okay, so you want to play games, huh? <laughs> Ragamuffin? Ragamuffin? Where are you? I can't hold on! <laughs> okay, I'll talk! Just stop this thing! <laughs> All right. I confess. Okay, out with it. I'm not who I've been passing myself off as. I've just signed a multi-project deal with Hollywood to develop concepts for film and television. I'm doing an updated version of Heidi, only it's in 3D. Anyway, my ride should be here any second. I've got to be on set for a taping. Mm -hmm. My personal helicopter, one of the perks. Say goodbye to Rasmo for me. I'll miss the little guy. He's such a naive soul. Or maybe he's just stupid. Anyway, ciao, baby. I gotta go. I'm on the air in 15. Hey, wait a second. I want to be on TV. I got some ideas. I could be a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Rapido, have you seen Ragamuffin? That self-centered egomaniac took off without even offering me a part. Took off? You mean he left without saying goodbye? <laughs> My little Ragamuffin! I'm so sad! <laughs> Hey, Raz, you're not still watching your own reflection. You know, you shouldn't watch this movie. It's too sad. Just like me. My turn to use the remote. I'd like to dedicate this show to my childhood friend, Razmo. What about me? I'm the one he loves. <laughs> Rag him up and you're back! Rasmo, put the TV back! Thank you.
An old can of Chef Grolic ravioli? Where did you find that? And it still has the loyalty sticker on the label. Shh. I'll trade you two new cans for that. It's a deal, but you pay for everything in the cart, too. Okay. And I want your jacket. Okay. And your glasses. Okay. A Swedish foot massage. Stop! This ravioli is not for sale. You could have asked that guy for the moon. I mean, what's so special about that can of ravioli? <laughs> My ravioli has disappeared! There he goes! <laughs> Don't worry, little baby. Daddy is going to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Chef Grolic, I realized that pigs didn't only have to live on a farm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. Tell me about the piggy bank. I really wanted it. Except I needed 100 loyalty points to get it. And I only had a measly 99. <laughs> you scoundrel! Dream Destroyer! It's payback time! I swear on Chef Grolic's grave, I will get that can of ravioli! Stealing from a thief? That's a totally insane concept! You're completely crazy, Hubert! I love you! Well, I was actually thinking of purchasing it from him. <laughs> You're right! Let's go! And besides, it's not really theft anyway. All I'm doing is taking back what's rightfully mine, you know? Yeah, Jean-Pierre? Get over here right now, we need you. Password? Nah, I don't remember. What's pink and jumps from tree to tree? Bubble gum in Tarzan's pocket? So show us the merchandise! Huh? Boss bottom. State-of-the-art high-tech stuff. It's the Invisible Prince Collection, featuring tadpole leather gloves. Because even a spy should have nice hands. The Tracy Crowbar. Elegant, easy to handle, and oh so easy to hide. Buy two and you get a free key <laughs> ring. Gift wrap for the holidays. <laughs> You're so sweet. How did you know it was my birthday? Oh, thanks a ton, guys. I've got a bad feeling. We should go. For me to cuckle. <laughs> <laughs>
looks as if our thief is a toy collector. Chow Chow Doggy Food, a doggy's best friend. Woo, woo. Psst. Hubert, check this out. Come on, come to Daddy, that's it. Yes, we're almost there, it's coming. It's almost open, almost. I can feel it. We're getting hot, yes. Come on. Ah! You're gonna wake up the babies. It took forever to get them to go to sleep. They're not yours, you stinking thief. No. Grab the can and run, Hubert. I've got them. Stop! Let the fly go, or I open this ravioli. No, don't do that. It won't be worth a penny. All I want is the loyalty stamp on the label. Then we're out of here. Oh, so you want the piggy bank. Help yourself. They're completely worthless. <laughs> By the way, is the ravioli any good? Uh, no. It's disgusting. Why? No reason, just asking. Gorgeous, be a good egg and get the door. No! You get the door! We got it last time, it's your turn! I'm not leaving this couch. Bun, get the door. No way! The best part of the movie is coming up. But you've seen this movie a hundred times. That's not true. I've only seen it 99 times. Get the door! <laughs> Please, don't everyone get up at once. I'll get the door! <laughs> Just a minute, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes? Can I help you? Good day, ma'am. Lovely weather we're having. In fact, it's so hot, I could use a cold drink. Need a bottle opener? Or hop on a wrench. Maybe a screwdriver. I know, you need a vacuum cleaner. Well, as a matter of fact, I... This is the household aid of the future. The housewife's friend. It's a jiffy, handy pocket pal with a hundred uses. Wow! Oh, it's terrific! But it does cost a fortune. Not so, my strange Ooh. little friend. This modern miracle only costs the paltry sum of... Five dollars! And if you're not completely satisfied, you get all your money back. I'll take it! Thank you very much, ma'am. Boy, wait till I show this to all of my... Uh, family. What an easy sale that was. This house is a gold mine. Just follow her. Dervish? What do we have here? <laughs> a termite. A voracious eater of wood. But our house is made of wood! Oh no! You've gotta go! <laughs> no bug's gonna eat me out of house and home! <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle this pest. <sighs> All right, you bunch of sissies. I'll take on the lot of you. Stand back. He's not bluffing. Yeah. 
The termite has built itself a home downstairs. That thing will eat through our house in no time. We've got to get rid of it. And, and no, no, do, do something. something! Calm down, calm down. Let me think. Hey! That's the guy who sold me the housewife's friend. I'm gonna go get my money back for that useless gadget. We'll all go, Candy. These humans can be tricky to deal with sometimes. La, 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 la. Yes? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, sorry to disturb you and your family again, but I forgot to give you your free pot holder that comes with your purchase of the housewife's friend. <gasps> Termites, eh? Tisk, tisk, tisk. This looks serious. Hmm, let me see. The only thing that'll get rid of that termite is the giant Peruvian anteater. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a sale on anteaters this week. Well, I don't think. That's just oh. it. You don't have to think. I've done all that for you. Yes, an anteater is what you need. But an anteater too? Of course, I've got the only one left. They are selling fast, and I did promise it to the guy down the street. Well, I can see you're not interested. I'll just... We'll take it! A very smart buy, if I do say so myself. Huh? Huh? <coughs> yeah, what do you want? Aren't you going to do anything about that insect? Hey, were you raised in a barn? Look, lady, that's a termite. I'm an anteater. I don't eat termites. Where do you keep the mustard in this dump? Here you go. <coughs> All right, you bug-eating bum. It's time to hit the... <laughs> that's the stuff. Let him have it. <laughs> Heck no, do something. Don't you worry, Candy. I'll handle this. I'm terribly sorry to disturb you, sir, but can I use your phone? Now you listen, you. That anteater you sold us is defective. I demand that you get rid of that thing immediately. Sure. There's only one natural enemy of both the African red termite and the giant Peruvian anteater, and that's the common variety garden elf. <laughs> Look, maybe you think you can fool my uh, uh, wife with your talk, but I've got you figured out. Sir, I would certainly be the fool if I were to try to trick such an obviously highly intelligent man as yourself. I can see that you, sir, are a hyper-intelligent being. A being possessing an ultra-sensitive brain, which can detect a flaw in even the most honest of salesmen. Are you a member of Mensa? Uh, well... <laughs> yes! I could tell by the giant cranial lobe. I could spot a fellow member anywhere. Now, about this elf. Let's get this common little problem of yours solved so... we can get back to discussing your brilliant brain. Yes, well, uh, how much did you say he was? <laughs> All right, you three, the party's over. Get out now. Hey, hey shut, shut that door. door. Three. Two, one... That's it! I've had it with you and your stupid 
gimmicky things. You're going to do something about these parasites, and you're going to do it now! Whoa, whoa, little fella. I'd be happy to help. What you need is someone to negotiate with these parasites, and I just happen to be a registered and licensed arbitration lawyer. My card. Good news! They'll all leave if they're each paid $20. Fine, fine, just get them out! Get them out! Hold it! Listen, you... you huckster! We've paid and paid and paid! And for what? I demand satisfaction! You are absolutely right. According to the guarantee, you're entitled to a full refund. I'll take that. And for you, sir, a bill for my attorney fees. I swear I didn't do it! Please, please, just pretend to be normal and pretend that Ferocia is mom. If she finds out that we lied, we're in big trouble. But what about these? <laughs> Dr. Burp! Burp! Uh, just yesterday evening, I was saying to my adorable little wife that what this home needed was a psychologist. <laughs> yes, someone to see what reigns in this home. Love, peace, and tenderness. <laughs> So you see, we're really a normal family with a mom and dad who love each other and a very happy little boy. <laughs> Kids today. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Dr. Burke, let me introduce you to our housemaid. Her name is Sally. Sally! So as you can see, when facing an opponent who has placed himself in position C5A, the only logical response is to assume defensive position HQ67 squared. This, of course, assumes that said opponent has not anticipated your defense and has already planned counterattack G5 now, in which case you must change tactics entirely and take offensive stance BR9ZTL. Test, test. Was that a test? I think someone has been daydreaming. Can anyone tell Izan what he missed? <laughs> Not even you, Okuni? Well, I uh, definitely heard the word test, too, and um, some other stuff before it. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully someone managed to take some notes, because portions of today's lesson will be included on the test next week. <laughs> Study hard, for it will count for 50% of your midterm <laughs> score. We'll never pass that test. His class is so boring it's impossible to stay awake, let alone concentrate. Tell me about it, dog. I mean, usually he's kind of dry, but lately he makes the Sahara look like the rainforest. We have to do something or we'll fail the class. But what can we do? It's not like we can use our ninjutsu to suddenly make him, um, uh... Alive? <laughs> I was going to be a bit more delicate, but yes. It's just not natural that someone is that boring. There must be something missing in his life. Maybe he's lonely. Uh, maybe he's hungry. Maybe he needs a good haircut. That style doesn't feng shui with his jawline at all. <laughs> no, the problem is we don't know what he needs. We might not be able to use our ninjutsu to change him, but we can use it to investigate and find out how we can help him. That's a great idea, Okuni. For the sake of our grades, we must solve the mystery of why Sensei Kubo is so boring. Not to mention for the sake of Kubo-san. And a uh. young little attention span. Uh.
life is so boring, he even puts himself to sleep. Tells him the square the hypotenuse. I wonder what he's saying. Hey, you kids. Just why are you following Kubo-san? Don't you know it is impolite to shadow your teachers? We're trying to help him. Yes, we're trying to find out why he's so boring. So he can have a better life. And we can have a better teacher. And not have to take so many tests. <sighs> it's a noble quest indeed. Can you remember anything that can help us? Uh, I remember Kubo-san's first day. Whoa! I'm going to have to clean that spot all over again. <laughs> oh, the good old days. Other than that, I can't help you. Kubo-san's always been boring, but good luck. You'll be needing me. Okay, that was helpful. Or not. So now what? You heard him mumbling in his sleep. Maybe it's important. He's on duty at the dorms this week. We'll just have to sneak into his room to hear what he's saying. Who's there? Oh, it's just the wind. Maybe if I amplify the low end, Trophy? That must be a name. But Trophy. whose? Maybe she's a long lost love. Or he's Pet Chihuahua. Well, whoever Trophy is, we're going to find them for Kubo san, so we won't miss them anymore. Tomorrow, we'll go see the principal. Maybe he knows. Trophy. Sorry, had to do it. Alison, oh, Kuni, so nice of you to stop by. What is it I can do for you today? Well, sir, we're here on behalf of Sensei Kubo. You see, we're trying to, um... Plan a surprise. And we were wondering if you might know who Trophy is. We think it's someone from his past that he would want to reconnect with. Trophy? No idea. Besides, all of that kind of information is in his personal file, and that is, of course, strictly confidential. Is there anything you might be able to tell us about Kubo-san, sir? Anything at all? Ah, yes. I can remember Sensei Kubo's first day, just like it was yesterday. I went by his class to see how his lessons were going. I hadn't had a sleep like that in months. Now, whenever I need a little nap, I, I pop right over to Kubo-san's class, and I'm fresh as a daisy. Oh, he's been a fine addition to our teaching staff. A fine addition indeed. I can't believe it. He actually likes that Sensei Kubo is boring. Well, he doesn't have to pass his own tests. We'll have to keep asking. Somebody here has to have a clue. Trophy? No, I I'm sorry. But I remember the first time I saw him, or oh, he saw me. <laughs> Hello, you must be our new teacher. I'm Kita. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> oh, poor Kubo. It's sad. The only thing anybody remembers about Kubo-san is when he tripped or put them to sleep. We'll never find out who Tarofi is. Wait, there's Zumakito-san. Maybe he knows something. Kubo-san. Ah, yes. I remember his first day. Hello, little fish. Are you hungry? I never knew fish could sleep like that. But then... 
who am I to predict nature in all of its untamed beauty? I am but a simple gardener, and I can do no more than my simple duty to help nature in its eternal struggle to spring from the earth. Yes, that night it was a full moon, as I recall. I had just planted the cherry tree saplings in the freshly mixed potting soil that I'd made from the leaves of last year's rakings. Oh, and fine leaves they were. Dry, with but a hint of moisture. As I cut them, I was led to think of birds crunching their tongues. You need to get into those files. Right. My mirror! That's bad luck. Well, maybe if you watched where your feet were going instead of your hair, you'd have better luck. Well, just because I have long golden hair to admire doesn't mean you should be so rude. You forgot, Shiny. <gasps> Why, thank you. It's my new conditioner. Expensive, but so worth it. And I still think you should apologize. Why should I apologize when it was you who bumped into me? I think it was you who bumped into me. I don't think so. It was obviously you who well, bumped... Perhaps it's best if we just decided you both bumped into each other equally. But now... Uh, oh. <laughs> I guess that makes us even. Then I suppose that would put me on top again. My lamp post. <laughs> the results are definitive. Those most suited to walk the dog are... Those most suited to walk the dog are... The Daltons? Huh? Ha, you can check. It's scientific. <laughs>